What's up, Green Thumb? We're planting potatoes. I'm a little out of breath. I've been digging trenches. So I'm going to show you how I plant potatoes, give you a few suggestions, and uh, hope it helps you guys grow a fantastic potato harvest. So here's where we're growing the potatoes. I've already dug a trench. It's about eight inches deep. We're going to grow two rows of potatoes down here. Okay, you can already see this side has yellow stuff in it. And that's this. Soil acidifier, it's pelletized sulfur. Okay, this prevents scab on your potatoes. And uh, that's caused by a pH issue in the soil. So all you do is you take your pelletized sulfur and you just sprinkle it in your trench. You can get this stuff at, at gardening centers. It's, uh, it's, it's not hard to find. So you just sprinkle it in your trench and that is going to prevent scab. All right, so you want your trenches about eight inches deep. I'm gonna keep on walking here. We'll take the bucket with us. I've been working all day in the garden, working and filming and planting. That's been about the extent of, of my day today, trying to make content for all you awesome people. Because I know there's lots of people that are still planting. So I'm just trying to knock out some content to help you. And if it doesn't help this year, well, because you've already planted, maybe it'll help you next year. So we're just about done here. A little more. Lay this down. Now, next is where you would add your fertilizer into your trench. But my fertilizer is already on the top, right? So when I dug the trench, this trench back in I'm going to split the roots in my pathway and put it back in my trench so then I'll have my fertilizers right back in there I've got uh, alfalfa pellets see alfalfa pellets this is organic mushroom compost there's pelletized hen manure on there as well and uh, that's just from my wood stove so that's what we got going on there for fertilizers. All right, so I didn't film putting these in the ground because my youngest is helping me and he's not allowed to be on film. So, But uh, you can see they're about eight inches apart. Okay, and we put the eyes up. So here's your potato. The eyes are growing up. Space it out about eight inches from the next one. Once they, they go in the ground fast, it's all the prep work and the, the digging of the trenches that takes the time. So you just put them in the ground. Oh, you're gonna put that one over there. Like that. And that one in there like that. And look at that, empty bucket. So that is my Russet Burbank potatoes that are going in the ground. Oh, sorry, hit myself with the tripod. So that's uh, that's going to be my Russet Burbank, and then where those stop, I'm going to plant two rows of Yukon Golds. So we got all the we have russets down to that tag you can see right there, and then after that are the Yukon Golds. And then what we've done is we've taken watering cans and we've just soaked that trench uh, because it is really dry out here. So at least the potatoes have a bit of moisture to start with. We're supposed to get some rain this week. And uh, next we're just going to dig the soil out of the pathway that I pulled out when I dug the trench, fold it back in, stack it as high as possible, and uh, we're good.
All right, so now that we got that all filled back in, pathways are all cleared. We got the mushroom compost and the rest of the amendments up on the bed. Um, we're gonna head out. We're not done with this bed though. Um, we have rain coming this week, so I'm gonna let mother nature take care of a bunch of the watering there for me. Cause there's no way I'll be able to water this with watering cans and get eight or 10 inches or 12 inches down, whatever, uh, however deep the tomato or the potatoes are right now. I need to eat. I've totally skipped lunch. I'm tripping all over my words. Look at me making a fool of myself. All right. So I do have two bales of straw right over there. Organic straw has not been sprayed with any broadleaf defoliants. Little tip. If you're going to put straw on your beds, you have to make sure when you buy it, verify from the source, they did not spray broadleaf defoliant on their fields. Some guys will, and if you put that on your beds, you're gonna wipe your beds out. That shit is toxic to your beds. It'll kill all of your, everything with a broadleaf. So this is certified organic from a, a farm not far from here. So we're gonna cover this with probably three, four inches of straw at least it's going to keep the soil moist another thing that that's going to do is as the potatoes start to grow in the ground they they push up right and you don't want your potatoes exposed to the surface because then they turn green and that green is toxic gives you a belly ache it's a chemical called solanin solanin however you want to pronounce it and uh, that's why you don't want to eat green potatoes and that's directly responsible or directly caused by exposure to sunlight so don't let your potatoes get into the sun so i hope this helps and uh have an awesome day smash that subscribe button right there maybe it's over there whatever you know what i'm talking about hit that like leave me a comment have an awesome day grow good food love you bye